Hey, what is up guys? My name is Ivan Reyes, and today in this video I will be showing, or not showing, but kind of explaining the African cloud frog. Now the African cloud frog is an invasive species that came straight from Africa and kind of moved over here in California. Now if you don't know what an invasive species is, it's basically a species that is not native to the ecosystem. So basically, the ecosystem in Africa is not the same as over here in California. So basically it's causing more damage and they don't have as much predators over here than as they do in Africa. Now basically how the African clawed frog is dangerous or damaging California is mostly around Los Angeles. But basically the African clawed frog usually uh, migrate into like rivers, lakes, and stuff like that. Basically overpopulating and getting rid of some of the fishes. They mostly uh, prey on say baby fishes and mostly other species around that's in the river with them so usually they prey upon them which basically is lowering the rate of fishes in those specific areas now also what they the african clawed frogs do when it gets i think it's too hot or too cold usually they go inside houses and they stay in there it's rather they clog up the pipes or they stay inside one of the houses so that's another dangerous part and also they release chemicals I'm not too sure if they're lethal to humans yet, but I'm pretty sure um, it's really lethal to the animals around them. So basically, it can damage them, and if we do catch those specific fishes that do have the toxin, it might be uh, very dangerous for us in a way. Uh, right now in the background, I'm showing you guys a, um, a African clawed frog. He is blind, but he's trying to eat fishes. So yeah. So the way the African clawed frog was brought into California, they were imported into the United States for, for laboratory use and pet trade. The African clawed frogs to continue to be introduced into the wilderness of California by escaping or being released by from laboratories, research facilities, and pet owners. So that's, um, that's how the African clawed frogs came from Africa all the way over here to California. So, like I said, the way they are infecting it, they are known to carriers of a fungus which causes fatal skin disease and frogs called... Uh, Cytrimeris, I probably butchered that, but I really don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, it's believed to be a, a cause of native amphibian populations, or the decline of it over the naked killed the amphibians. Uh, so the way we could prevent the African clawed frog from damaging California's wildlife is um, to... Um, make fishers, if they do f like catch the African clawed frog, to report them. Obviously, we're trying to find out other ways to prevent the spreading of this invasive species, but it's kind of hard to, especially the fact that they're basically most around the water, and people who find them around the house just think that they're regular frogs, so they don't really, you know, get the idea that that's an invasive species that they need to take care of that pronto. And yeah, so like I said, they, um, the, okay, my bad. The African clawed frog is considered a third level consumer, which basically means he only eats meat. Um, they eat, like I said, they eat shrimp, pelts, wax worms, um, tip of worms, more worms, and insects, and also feeder guppies and uh, baby fishes. They're mostly preyed on by bird um by, by most dogs and rodents they're usually preyed upon that and they're also a bunch of birds too but also the main uh predator of the frog is the heron which is basically a bird i think it's only native in africa so basically that's the only thing they have to worry about over there but yeah that's all I, the information i have so far about the african clawed frog if you do enjoy the video and if you do please leave a like you know and if you do see one of these, I will leave a number to where you could call for the invasive species. And yeah, thank you for watching.